In this video, we're going to be going over saddling. We're going to start first with the bareback pad. So this here is our bareback pad. You wanna make sure that your bareback pad has a saddle pad underneath. We store our bareback pads on top of the saddle pad that they normally go with. So you'll wanna make sure that you're pulling both of these things out before you bring the horse to the cross ties. You're gonna take the bareback pad and gently lift it up over the horse's back. You always wanna start a little bit forward and then be able to slide it back. That way you're not having to pull it forward and mess up the horse's hair. That's uncomfortable for them. So you wanna look here and make every, sure everything is in the correct spot. The girth is already attached, so I'm gonna drop it down. I'm gonna reach underneath Honey's belly here, and I'm gonna give her a little pet where the girth is going to go. This not only checks to make sure that it is nice and clean under here, but it prepares the horse for knowing that there's going to be a piece of equipment coming across their belly. We're gonna take the girth here, I'm going to bring it up, and with the bareback pad, it's pretty simple. Oops. You drop it, no big deal. <laughs> Just don't ever crawl underneath the horse. You can always reach. So we're gonna put it nice and loose. So when you do the girth, you wanna make sure that when you first start, you don't do it too tightly. The instructor will always tighten the girth before the student gets on, but you wanna make sure you do it tight enough that you're not seeing daylight between the girth and the horse. So this is how to put on a bareback pad. To take it off, you'll basically follow the same steps on the left side. Again, you can look at the buckle of your halter. That'll tell you you're on the left side of the horse. Once you've finished the lesson, brought the horse back to the cross ties, you're just gonna pull up on the tab here. Gently let it drop. Make sure that you don't swing it into the horse's front leg. And then you can lift the bareback pad up and off the horse, just like this, and take it back to the saddle area. All right, the next type of saddle we're going to talk about is called the dressage saddle. When you're bringing your equipment out, you're going to wanna to make sure that you have your girth, your saddle pad, and your saddle. The girth will be marked with the certain number that it needs. This one is here, number 16. And it will be on the lesson chart. We also have charts up in the tack room that have the saddle and the girth that it goes along in case you need to double check. So the thing about the dressage saddle is they have these long billets here. So that's why we're going to be using a short girth. The first step for saddling is taking your saddle pad over to the horse. So again, we are starting on the left side. We're going to take the saddle pad put it up a little bit higher than you would think and then be able to slide it down. Your cue that it's facing the right direction and in the correct spot are these little straps here. So this is where your billets are going to go um, to secure that the saddle pad does not slide underneath the saddle while the horse is moving. Once your saddle pad is on, I'm gonna reach over, pick up the saddle and gently bring it over to the horse. I always lift the front of the saddle pad up so there's a bit of airflow. And then you take your billets, I'm gonna slide them through that slot there on the saddle pad. Next thing is the girth. For the dressage girths that we have, they have a little place at the top here that you're going to stick the billets through before you buckle them. We always wanna start low on the first side because we can always make it tighter when we go around to the other side. Once the billets are even, you wanna make sure that the buckles are even, not necessarily the numbers. The leather will stretch out over time, so you just wanna make sure that your buckles are roughly even. We'll walk over behind the horse. When you walk behind a horse, you wanna make sure that you keep your hand on the horse's hind end and you're talking to them so they know where you are. Horses cannot see behind them so sometimes it can surprise them if you just pop up on the other way. I just use my hands gently here to ask her to move over, being mindful of her flank area here. We never want to press or poke the flank because that's a very sensitive area of the horse. Now that she's in a better position, I'm going to reach under again, just like I did for the bareback pad. Kind of brush this area, make sure that it's nice and clean, let her know that the girth is going to be coming, lay the girth flat against her belly, Take my billets here. Forgot to do that first. Take the billets, put them through. 
And again, pet, reach under. And now on this side, we can make it a bit tighter. Again, just like with the bareback pad, we don't want the girth to be too tight, but we don't want to see any daylight between the horse and the saddle or the girth. Your instructor will tighten the girth before the rider gets on. So your job is just to make sure that if the horse shakes or moves, the saddle is not going to slide off. The instructor will then tuck in the extra ends here for your ride. Untacking pretty much follows the same steps. So we're gonna come over, undo the girth, take the billets out from the saddle pad, walk behind the horse, Coming over to this side, take the girth off. I like to put the girth on over the saddle and then I lift both things up at the same time. And then I put the saddle on the saddle rack and then usually the saddle pad over. You don't ever want to leave the saddle pad loose on the horse's back because if the horse shakes, the saddle pad will fly off and that can scare the horse or any of the other horses that may be here getting ready. So if possible, take them off both at the same time or take off your saddle and then immediately go back for your saddle pad. All right, well now we're going to go over a hump seat saddle. So just like the dressage saddle, you wanna make sure you have your saddle pad and your girth and your saddle. So the difference between this and the dressage saddle are the billets and the shape of the saddle. So you'll notice there are three billets here with the hunt seat saddle. When you are attaching your girth, you're going to want to attach it to the first and the third. So just like the dressage saddle, we're going to start with the saddle pad, bringing it over to the horse, pinning it up high, checking the saddle, for, saddle pad for that strap here so we know it's in the correct position, picking up the saddle, and gently placing it on her back. Slide it back into position. Now we're going to take the girth. In the hunt seat saddle, the girth is what's going to go up through the saddle pad here. So lift the flap out of the way. And we're always going to start low on the first side. And again, we wanna make sure that the buckles are in the same spot, not necessarily the number of holes. So now that this side is done, we're going to walk behind the horse and keeping your hand on her, talking so she knows that we're coming. If I need to adjust her over, gently pressing, again, not touching her flank there, making sure everything on this side is where it needs to be, reaching under her belly, giving her that little pat, a little pet, bringing the girth up, putting the girth through the saddle pad, and buckling on the first and third billet. So now she's ready. Again, this is nice. It's not too tight, but we're not seeing any daylight underneath the saddle. And like I said before, the instructor will always make sure that the saddle is tight before the student gets on to ride. So now we're back from our lesson. In order to take off the saddle, we're gonna follow the same steps. Lift up the saddle flap, pull up on the billet. Pulling up on the billet will release the buckle there nice and easily. Gently sliding it down. Walking around behind the horse. to this side. If it gets a little stuck, you just put your fingers on the side of the buckle and help slide it forward. So I like to put my girth on top of the saddle. And this way I'll show you, I'll just take the saddle off first and place it down and then immediately come back for the saddle pad so it's not left on her back any longer than necessary. All right, so in here is our horse saddle chart. So it has all of our horses' names, the saddles that fit them, and the girths that we'll be using that fit with those saddles. So for example, we had out Honey. 
We were using saddle number one. We had our hunter pad and we have the girth 42. All of our girths that work with our uh, hunter saddles are up here. And then all of our dressage girths. So we had the Windsor out. We had our dressage pad. We had dressage girth 16. They're all down here and they're much shorter. The saddle pads are stored with the saddles, so you won't have to worry too much about which saddle pad you need because it will be with the saddle that you're getting.